Now thousands will gather at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base for the Freedom's Call Tattoo Celebration. Anthony Kiko with more on the preparations for the big event. Right now, crews are setting up this soundstage behind me for what officials say is going to be a huge event filled with displays of patriotism. Military planes fly high in the sky as crews prepare Wright-Patterson Air Force Base for a military tattoo. But it's not the kind of tattoo that goes on your arm. But come out and enjoy a good performance and see some military ceremony. David Thomas says a military tattoo is a celebration that originated in Scotland. We've taken that here into America in the United States with our military. We still keep the music flair. That's why you see our Air Force Band of Flight here performing. Uh, but you have also added elements of some of the military ceremonies that we do. Last year's military tattoo included flyovers and entertainment. This year won't be any different. We have the bagpipers from the fire department down here at Dayton will be here this year. Uh, then afterwards we have the uh, main attraction, Lone Star, will be here at uh, 9 o'clock, followed by some great fireworks at 10 o'clock. Egner tells us this year's military tattoo is a special one. Recognizing the 10th anniversary of the 911 incident, uh, we're telling the story of how, what happened, uh, how we responded as a country. Uh, we also have a 911 national flag that will be here as part of the program. There will be about 15,000 parking spots for people on the base and a free RTA service from Wright State University. We're encouraging everybody to use our uh, free uh, RTA service from Wright State University parking lot number 7 where they can go to Wright State University and take a free RTA shuttle right to the event. And that's one of the quickest ways to get in and out. Now the event is right here at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base at 4 p.m. on Friday. More than 75,000 people are expected to fill this area behind me and the event is totally free. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Anthony Kiko, 2 News on your side.